Man, it feels like I was just here a second ago. Oh, wait, I was, because I wasted a bunch of time. Okay. Yeah, that is awesome that I just have cold resistance this high in this game now. Because I can just do anything now. Flight range. So, the bird that's up there is probably the word that I need to be using. Constantly. And you just need to find out the name of the bird. Oh, I wanted those. I really wanted the arrows there. It's gonna make me feel good. Oh, look at this buff bird. Rubbing his yeah. bow. Oh, Tiba. Rito? Is that- I, I already forgot how to pronounce it, I but I'm gonna keep you. saying Rito. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. <laughs> I love that that's the cutscene. Just like, well, okay. How many arrows do I have right now? It's a good question. Only 14? Yikes. It's a good thing I picked those up. How about this bow? Nine. That's really, really bad. This bow is a favorite among Raito warriors. The bowstring has been specially engineered for aerial combat, which allows it to be drawn faster than a normal bow. Yeah, that's not that's not that good. Screw it. Oh no. Hey, you wanna get warm? <laughs> Accidentally burn your feathers? Did you need something? I'm busy here. Uh, I can help you. Help me? With what exactly? Valmadeo, let me get this straight. Some random Helean wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Mavamadeo? I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Tiba. But you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. Am I right? That's right. Just like the Elder, trying to f trust any fool wandering into town. Look, you seem to be an alright guy. But let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Raito warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. Well, they seem pretty safe right now, to be fair. They're they're just kind of like a little bit anxious, and they're just like, well, it's, this divine beast might hurt us. It's kind of flying around. It might run out of whatever powers it, and it falls down and crushes us. It's only one way I'm going back to Raito Village, and that is... One Divine Beast Medeo Valmadeo falls from the sky and crushes and kills us. Yeah, but still, it, it's not... That's not the way that Divine Beasts work. We don't kill them. We kill the beast. We'll kill the, the boss that's inside and then we take it over and use it to blow up the world. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> but not quite, you know, I'm just summarizing. Uh, if I had to kill Medeo, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. Now let's get started. Are you serious? <laughs> ha! Well, far be for, for me to talk you off the ledge. But as it's uh, as the elder said, the only way to stop the, the divine beast of Amadeo is to get inside it. Still, they're they're really trying to like push up the innuendos now. Um, fat chance of that happening. There's no way we can set foot in Medeo. Actually... <laughs> so you're not only wingless, you're also brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people that are able to enter the Divine Beast are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us, and the rest of the Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. If it hadn't been for Ganon, Never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Medeo one step at a time. If we approach Medeo recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So, I'm gonna need you to test before you, I take you with me. Yeah, something like that. We Raito warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are so strong here that a person could just open up a cloth over the their head and float up easily. Hmm. And now let's see what you're capable of. Yeah, you'll have to maneuver through the air and destroy five targets set up in this valley in, it, valley in three minutes. 
I'm ready. Hmm. Then go destroy five targets with your arrows. But yeah, he, he needed to have some sort of voice like that because all the Raito people just hate everyone. I didn't know that they were so racist and hateful. I don't know. That's what it seems, if nothing else. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, they're all on the other side here. This seems really easy, if you ask me. One more. Oh, and there we go. Perfect. Okay, come on back. Hmm. You're a skilled archer. If it was uh, as if time stopped with every arrow you let... Oh man, I like that. With every arrow you let fly. I've got to tell you, Link. When you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I can tell you're the real deal. You must have uh, seen a battle or two. Uh, hundreds of them. Hmm. I believe it. Link, I feel I've heard the name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Medeo, it's now or never. I'll get you into position so I, you can give its cannons all you got. Hmm. Inside the treasure chest is a bow of modified. Take it. Let me know when you're ready. What? What is this kind of bow? It better be... Oh, come on. No, it's not that good. It doesn't mean any... Like, is it really that good? Because, <laughs> like, there's one over there. There's one here. It's, it's It sucks, man. Once mine is gone, then I will go and do your thing. But for now, I have... Much better bows, better beans, better coffee. Let's do this thing. Okay, it's time to face Divine Beast Vamadeo. Normal arrows won't put a dent in those cannons. You'll need to hit them with bomb arrows. These are a precious commodities, so don't expect me to do this again. But take these bomb arrows. 20 is more than enough. Bundle of 20 bomb arrows. These explosive powder... Uh, packed into the tips of these arrows ignites on impact, dealing big damage to anything caught in the blast. Don't know why I needed to read that, because I probably did like five times before. Also, it'll be cold up there. You want to prepare a warm meal or bring some warm clothes? Oh, I'm ready. If I get hit, I'm gonna die in one shot, but... Still, this supposedly is another one of the easy... Divine Beasts that some people go here first. But I think that this is... This is probably the second area you're supposed to do, and I already did one of the harder areas of the game second, as in, you know, all the Goron area. Which, I, I don't know, I think I like the Gorons better, just in general. They're a lot happier, they're just like, yeah, we're we're all good with you, we don't, we don't care, you know, it's not like the fish people, you know, those uh, Zoras, they were completely racist and hateful. These guys are pretty racist and hateful as well. I don't know. It's just all of the races in this game, man. It's probably because they're the rebels. The rebels are always the most racist. Long live the Empire. Uh, anyway, I'm ready. I don't care about the, <laughs> the preparations of the plan. I'm just gonna go in gung-ho. Alright, but let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why risk your life to bring down Medeo? <laughs> to rescue Zelda! That's, that's the name of the game, right? We're already going to be breaking the fourth wall with uh, making it so then I can stop time with every arrow. I just can't watch. <laughs> just because. <laughs> that's another good one. Uh, I'm going to say this uh, Rescue Zelda. Because that's, that's fairly true, and also because I want him to see his reaction a bit. Zelda. But that's the name of the princess. Revali served a hundred years ago in uh, Hyrule Castle. I don't know what she has to do with the Divine Beast for Medeo, but whatever. As long as you're here helping me bring down Medeo, your motivation is fine by me. That's a piece of dialogue that would be no matter what you click on. Alright, get on. Oh, I'm actually just getting on the back of him. Nice. I was hoping that, uh, you know, this would be the easier way of doing things. Maybe I'm just supposed to jump off of his back and then, like, shoot. I think this is going to be like the whole Prince Sidon thing, but different because we're not swimming. Alright, it's showtime. Man, 
Even I feel like I'm gonna freeze up here. Ugh. That's him expressing his coldness. Ugh. There's Divine Beast Vamadeo. Oh, he has like deflector shields. It is a barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? Well, Link just doesn't talk. Let's go over the plan. You see those cannons? I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, you use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Got it so far? If you need to withdraw for a little bit, you just spread your cloth and float straight up into the updraft for a while. I'll take that as a sign you need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Medeo's barrier. That's impenetrable. And just whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, even though I said this a few times already, don't forget your cloud pro cold protection. Or cloud protection too. You gotta protect yourself from cloud because his giant sword's gonna kill us all. Kill himself too by accident. We can move wherever you're ready. Or whenever. I need to prepare! Back to the flight range! Let's go. Alright. Now let's blow up those cannons. It's up to you. Okay, let's make sure I actually have the right thing. Okay, I do. I'll go, oh, no. Downwards! Oh, I thought that I was getting killed. Okay. On to the cannon. Oh, I actually missed. Boom! Oh, I thought that it would go down in one hit. Out of the way! Out of the way? Okay. I really like that they just keep giving me more stamina out of nowhere. Because... Oh, Watch man. Out. Yeah, I think this is trying to kill me. Whoa! That's not good. Attack him! He likes it! Okay, oh, I guess that, that does stop it from firing at you. Back but yeah, this way. is... this really is easy. <laughs> I, I never thought that it would be, like, this kind of... ...insanely easy, I because... I guess there's still always the reason that people say, Oh yeah, you can just go to this Divine Beast first. Because they give you everything you need, and it's just like, there's no, like, quest beforehand. You don't have to go and, like... Hey, there's a quest in which you're supposed to go and, uh, take some lightning arrows, first and foremost. I didn't even have to worry about that. I just, <laughs> he just gave me arrows and they're just like, oh yeah, you can fly? Yeah? Okay. Go for it. Oh no. Woohoo! It, it was trying to track where I was going to be. I'm gonna have to fire right now, or die. Oh, no. Because seriously, though, if I... Oh! Okay, let's actually do this proper, like... But yeah, if I get hit, I probably will die in one hit. That's the most <laughs> terrifying thing. I was concerned as to why I didn't have gyros on for a second there. But yeah, if this is supposedly an easy temple, I'm actually really looking forward to it, too. Even though you can't really call it a temple because it's a divine beast, but whatever. Well done, Link. That thing is history. Oh yeah, he just has his giant sword on his back. Nice. Oh no, he's having a heart attack. The problem that most birds have. Heart attacks. Oh, he actually that got hit. Is, Link. Looks like I got hit pretty good back there. I think I think I need to get back to the flight range. Don't worry, I have Mifa's grace. Hope that I can make it back. You head down to middle. If you just rub your body on mine. It might <laughs> somehow work, right? <laughs> oh, he gives you... <laughs> I didn't think that birds could give you thumbs-ups, but... Epic. 
But yeah, because like when I die, I just get healed through Mifa's grace. So I mean, if what if I slit my throat while like holding your body? <laughs> then we both get healed? That also might be another thing. Although I don't know if Mifa's grace would work if you kill your... Actually, it does work if you kill yourself. Technically speaking in this game, because it just... It activates no matter what. As long as you die, it activates. So... It's it's an idea that Link has that's is really bad, but he'll get saved. Travel gate registered to map. Well now, I've seen that face before. I oh, had I forgot a that I had to press A. Show up eventually. But making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. Oh wait, d did he not actually fly up after this jerk before? Uh, whatever. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? <laughs> I like the tone that he had there. You're here to wrest control. That's how he sounds. If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? Well, probably. Either that or I'll keep the slitting throat idea uh, in my back pocket. It's always a good idea, right? Always a good idea. Okay. Um, I might not want to waste bomb arrows, but it's, it's still the funny thing. I have, like, none of the regular kind of arrows. I hope this is a bow, so that I can actually use a crap bow for this. Sapphire, okay. That's also good. Enough. And that's probably what I should be doing, is I should just be selling all of my random crap. I'm just like, well, you have some sapphires, rubies, diamonds, everything in between. Don't need it, don't ever want it. But yeah, see, this, this place looks very nice. It's a, a very calm, relaxed kind of divine beast in the air. Cause like, still, I, this whole Raito area is really confusing. They're just like, why, why is this the way that the world works? It's just like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a very nonchalant. They're just like, oh yeah, it's, it's kind of bothering us. They're not. Maybe that's what it is. It's just like the story wasn't written very well for this area. They they did a good job with the other areas, and they're just like, well, we'll come back to this one later. Well, we'll keep it on the drawing board, and then they just never came back to it. And, uh, yeah, that's the way that it worked. Oh, hello! It's time to dance! Oh, I was hoping that I could two-hit it. Wait, really? It only did a quarter of a heart of damage? And I'm wearing, like, horrible clothing. If I wear all my good stuff, does that mean that I'm invincible then? I hope that means I'm invincible. I want to try it. Uh, where's where's my good clothes again? Uh, I'm kind of blind here. There it is. Oh, it does make me cold. I should have put on different pants or something. Or at least for the boss, I will put on these clothes and then uh, do things that way. I think. But for now, because like I can just uh, have some nice uh, spicy food. If I do have any spicy food, maybe I didn't actually have any cooked. Okay, yeah, I have a few. Uh, 12 minutes, well, 1730 just on one is more than enough, I would say, to probably get me through a boss. If one boss takes 17 minutes, I'd be very concerned. And it probably isn't going to be a thing that happens. Oh, wait, this is actually the... Oh, okay, well, here we go. That's That was a very easy map to get to. I still think you are supposed to go here first, potentially, then. You go here first, then to the Zora's Domain, which is also a starter area. Then you go to Gerudo, then Goron, maybe? Because the Gorons are supposed to be super hard for some reason. Wasn't really. See, and then it hits the little thing there. <laughs> <laughs> Shiga Slate, I forgot the name, and just freezes. That's what's gonna happen. And since it freezes, 
Oh, okay, we can just tilt. Oh man, we're gonna do a barrel roll. But yeah, it's gonna freeze because it's so cold up here that like, oh no, the knowledge, it's frozen all over my device. The map of the divine beast. The terminals that will activate meadow are marked by those glowing points. Okay, so it's meadow. I like to say Medeo. <laughs> yeah, it would be meadow, definitely. <laughs> I've been saying it wrong the entire time, but whatever. Most of these words, if you never heard it before, same like, you know, the, the one Simpsons joke of just like, run like the wind, you know, because wind and wind are spelled the same. You, you wouldn't know if you haven't really heard it, if you're kind of an idiot. <laughs> so, it happens. Uh, yeah, You'll need glowing to points. Activate all of the terminals to take back control. Okay. Think you're up to it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> he's taunting me even though he's dead. Like, come on, man. Screw you. I, th this is probably my least favorite of the hero champions at this point. Then, because I don't like that. Like, it's a very stereotypical kind of like anime thing that people are just like, "Oh, I'm just so much better than you." Me, me, me. But, like, I, I'm not a fan of that kind of thing. It's not anywhere near as good as, uh, like, the the typical anime guy that actually is cool, uh, known as... <laughs> Takumi? I think that's his name? I guess in, uh, Fire Emblem... Whatever that is, Fates? Bomb arrows, nice! So, uh, this entire area is just gonna be all about the bomb arrows, I think, at this point. Let's see if we can activate this terminal. Terminal velocity. Boom. Okay, I, I hope that there's something good in this. Or just still give me a bow. Ancient shaft. The best of shafts. Okay, well. I wonder if a bomb arrow would actually do anything here. It's worth a try, right? Oh, I guess they don't care for... Uh, explosions in the way of electricity. Oh, boy. See, that almost killed me. That took away a lot of my hearts, actually. I might even just eat uh, a delicious dish of just hearts right now. Because, like, why not have, like, more hearts than I could ever dream of? Yeah, it, it's not a bad thing, necessarily. Either that or I can just eat a durian and just waste it. Yeah, let's just get, uh, hearty fried wild greens. Because that, in and of itself, is basically, uh, giving you 20 hearts more. It's the equivalent, regionally. It's, oh wait a second, what's this? It's like currency, though, that's what I was gonna say. I think, oh, maybe if I stand inside this and then we tilt the world. That might be partially a thing. But I'm just gonna kind of wander around a little bit to begin with. It's never a bad idea. Because I want to just see what there is to see here. Okay, that's the place where I have to activate last. We're gonna have the final countdown right up here. Oh, how much do you want to bet this boss is gonna try to freeze you? And I don't have the armor capabilities of doing that. This boss is gonna be harder than the Goron boss. Because I had all my upgrades. Oh, man. Okay, where am I? This, uh, one... Seems like all of the things are in the middle. Like, why do you even need to be on top of this place, then? Other than to activate the final... piece of the puzzle. So, I guess this Divine Beast is a lot more difficult than they... people always claimed. So you actually have to think. Thinking is harder than just Goron. One. That was just all about the strength and the power. Being amazing. 